Stuart Bell. Sir Stuart Bell, 16 May 1938, 13 October 2012, was a British Labour Party politician who was the Member of Parliament MP for Middlesbrough from the 1983 general election until his death in 2012. Early Life Bell was born in County Durham in 1938, the son of a miner. He studied at the Hookergate Grammar School on School Lane in High Spen near Rollins Gill, Gateshead. He later attended the Durham Pitmans College. He joined the Labour Party in 1964 and was called to the bar at Gray's Inn in 1970. He worked as an international lawyer in Paris until 1977, representing large multinational companies. He contested Hexham at the 1979 general election, but was defeated by the Conservative MP and former Cabinet Minister Geoffrey Rapon. Parliamentary Career Bell was elected to the City Council of Newcastle upon Tyne in 1980. In 1982, the Labour MP for Middlesbrough, Arthur Bottomley, announced that he would step down at the next general election. Bell won the subsequent selection process to fight the seat at the 1983 general election. Bell comfortably held the seat, elected with a majority just short of 10,000 votes. At Westminster, Bell became the parliamentary private secretary to the deputy leader of the opposition, Roy Hattersley, in 1983. He was promoted to the shadow front bench in 1984 by Neil Kinnock as a spokesman for Northern Ireland. However, he chose to resign his post after the Cleveland child abuse scandal, which occupied two years of his life, after making unsubstantiated accusations of clinical error against local pediatricians and child sexual abuse specialists. The pediatricians, Dr. Marietta Higgs and Dr. Jeffrey Wyatt, were later absolved and their forensic clinical work validated at a committee of inquiry overseen by Dame Elizabeth Butler Sloss. After the 1992 general election and the election of John Smith as the leader of the Labour Party, Bell returned to the shadow front benches as a spokesman for trade and industry. After the election of the Labour government at the 1997 general election, he was dropped from Labour's front bench, but was appointed on the advice of Tony Blair as the second church estates commissioner the spokesman for the Church of England in the House of Commons, a position he held from 1997 to 2010. From 2000 to 2005, he was the chairman of the Finance and Services Committee, which manages the annual budget of the House of Commons and its many employees. In 2005, he became a member of the Finance and Services Committee until 2008 when he served as chairman until 2010. Relatedly, from 2000 until 2010, he was a member of the House of Commons Commission, which oversees the administration of the House and the Members' Estimate Committee that sets in P.S. pay and pensions. He was a member of the Liaison Committee between 2010. He was a member of the Ecclesiastical Committee from 1997. Fell sat on the Members' Estimates Committee at Parliament and was heavily involved representing MPS interests in the MPS expenses scandal of 2009. He was a member in Speaker's Committee for the Independent Parliamentary Standards Authority between 2009-10. A founder member of the British-Irish Interparliamentary Body, he was a treasurer of the All-Party Parliamentary Group for the promotion of First Past the Post and was Secretary of the Franco-British Parliamentary Relations Committee in the Commons. In February 2010, Bell was played by David Calder in the television film on expenses. Criticism and Controversy On 13 October 2009, he claimed on the BBC Today programme that the investigation by Sir Thomas led into the United Kingdom parliamentary expenses scandal was marked by retrospectivity, as Sir Thomas had changed the rules on expenses after MPS claims had been submitted. Stuart Bell featured in a film of the 2010 general election entitled Tory Boy, the movie made by John Walsh, which explored the candidate's selection process and the work that goes into an election campaign. Later in 2011, Neil McFarlane, in a report for local newspaper Teesside Gazette, asked our Teesiders getting enough from Sir Stuart Bell.
when he failed to answer over 100 telephone calls made to his constituency office over three months. The Gazette story was picked up by national newspapers. The Independent asked, is Sir Stuart Bell Britain's laziest MP? The Guardian fact-checked the laziest MP claim and found that Bell has been an MP for nearly 30 years and has had a distinguished career in Parliament as a front-bench spokesman on trade and industry in opposition and the spokesman for the Church of England in the House of Commons and member of. The Labour Party said it was looking into the allegations. Other interests Bell was a member of the French think tank, the Fondation pour l'Innovation Politique. He was also a regular newspaper columnist for the Mail on Sunday and other publications. Personal life Bell was married in 1960 to Margaret Bruce, and they had a son and a daughter. After his divorce, he married Margaret Allen in 1980, and they had a son. Honors Bell was knighted in 2004 for his services to Parliament, and was appointed a Chevalier of the Legion d'Honneur. France's highest order, by President Jacques Chirac in 2006. Death Bell died on 13 October 2012, after a short battle with pancreatic cancer. Publications Bell Stewart 1973, Paris 69, Consett slash Ramsden Williams Publications. Bell Stewart 1981, How to Abolish the Lords. Fabian Society. Bell Stewart, 1988. When Salem Came to the Borough, The True Story of the Cleveland Child Abuse Crisis. Bell Stewart, 2000. Tony Really Loves Me. Spenview Publications. ISBN 0 minus 9 million, 538,638 minus 1 minus 6. Bell Stewart, 2002. Pathway to the Euro. Spenview Publications. ISBN 0 minus 9 million, 538,638 2 minus 4. Bell Stewart 2002. The Honored Society. Spenview Publications. ISBN 0 minus 9 million, 538,638 minus 40. Bell Stewart 2002. Binky's Revolution. Spenview Publications. ISBN 978 9538638-3-9. Bell Stewart 2007. An Ever Closer Union. Spenview Publications. ISBN 978 9538638-5-3. Bell Stewart 2007. The Ice Cream Man and Other Stories. Spenview Publications. ISBN 978 9538638-4-6. Bell Stewart 2010. The Ice Cream Man and Other Stories Second Ed. Spenview Publications. ISBN 978 9538638 4-6.